Ukrainian air forces and artillery would bury the Russian soldiers at Vovchansk plant expert. Hundreds of Russian troops are surrounded in a chemical plant in Vovchansk, the main battleground in Russia's northern offensive. This plant is not very large. There could be up to 200 Russians there, says Ukrainian military expert Roman Svitan. On the air of Channel 24, he expressed the opinion that Ukrainian rockets and artillery would bury the invaders at this plant. The Russians wanted to see Vovchansk and die. So the defense forces will have to make this wish come true. Our troops will have to implement this last thought of the Russians, says Svitan. At least 30 of the Russians surrendered over the weekend. Vovchansk was the first major target of Russia's northern offensive, which kicked off on May the 10th and may have aimed to ultimately capture Kharkiv, a city of 1.4 million, 25 miles south of the border. But the Russian northern grouping of forces, tens of thousands of soldiers strong, never got past Vovchansk. Several Ukrainian brigades, including the elite 82nd Air Assault Brigade, raced north to meet the Russians. Freshly rearmed with munitions rush shipped from the United States, the Ukrainians fought the Russians street by street, building by building, and halted the advance in late May. And now the Ukrainian Air Forces has joined the battle. The Air Forces fighters MiG-29s, Sukhoi, Su-27s, or both, are lobbing American or French-made precision glide bombs at the plant. Rob Lee, an analyst with the Foreign Policy Research Institute in Philadelphia, identified three videos depicting Ukrainian glide bombs striking the plant's main complex recently. One Russian blogger likened the fighting in Vovchansk to two of the most brutal battles in Russia's 28-month wider war on Ukraine, the long Russian sieges of Bakhmut and Avdiivka. The Russian Air Force dropped scores of glide bombs a day on Avdiivka, gradually reducing the city to rubble and compelling the Ukrainian garrison to retreat in February. The bad news, the blogger wrote, is that the enemy has a lot of his own guided hammer bombs, which also pose a serious problem. что-то там горит